Hi and welcome to 21st Pittsburgh. Today is it Friday the 4th of December and it is three days to Pittsburgh's game against Washington. But first let's talk a little bit more about the Baltimore game from earlier this week. Teresa Varley from the Steelers.com reported that Mike Tomlin had some positives to say about the game after he had some time to reflect about it. Mike said, quote, I can't say enough about the individual effort of Benny Snell, particularly his demeanor at the end of the game. That is a guy who was really competing, but doing the fundamental things you need a guy at his position to do. He took really good care of the football from a security standpoint. He showed situational awareness a couple of times staying in bounds when he was along the sidelines. And Mike Tomlin continued and said, quote, We had some quality combat like catches from interior guys. I can't say enough about what significant play James Washington made. I thought Ebron made some significant plays at the early juncture of the game. I thought Juju was ridiculously consistent in his play and has been. There were some things to draw from. What I take from that is that Mike Tomlin had moved on from the negative parts of the Baltimore game and is now looking forward to what positive things there are to build on for the future. I'm very happy about this. I feel like Mike is doing the right judgment here. Teresa also reports that Mike was really happy about the effort from J.C. Hasenauer and his efforts in the game. A lot of players have come out and showed Bud Dupree support after his injury in the Baltimore game. Unfortunately, will we probably never see Bud in the Steelers jersey again? I will make a separate episode about the salary cap for the next season for the NFL in general and one episode for the Steelers specifically. The Steelers have put Bud on injury reserve and signed Antoine Brooks to fill his spot on the roster. Pittsburgh have agreed to take in three players on turnout as well. Offensive tackle Cody Conway, defensive end Sharef Miller and center Zach Sackleford. A smart move if we get more players absent due to injuries and COVID-19. You need to be open to all scenarios this season. Also, the Steelers did not practice yesterday, so no report from that. We got an injury report that said Steven Nelson knee, Jalen Samuels quadriceps and Ben Roethlisberger that were listed as non-injury related and a knee. Also half the team was on a veteran day, but no practice, so it didn't matter. There have now been 68 games in a row for Pittsburgh with at least one sack. They are now one game away from the record of 69 games. The Steelers could secure a playoff spot already this week. But there is a lot of things that will have to go their way. I'm not going to go into all that, just know that we are already there. Washington had four players in the injury report from yesterday. Defensive end Ryan Anderson, knee, limited. Tackle Morgan Moss, growing, limited. Safety Dishasur Everett, ankle, full. Tackle Cornelius Lucas, ankle full. So, not much to report from Washington's injury side. If we look inside the AFC, we got the report from the Cincinnati Bengals that Joe Burrow underwent surgery on Wednesday and that it went as planned. Joe is expected to make full recovery. We wish him good recovery. He is, in my mind, the best of the new young quarterbacks in the league. From the rest of the NFL, we got a report that Josh Gordon now has been reinstated by the NFL. This, though, under certain conditions 
that are unknown at this point. He can undergo COVID-19 protocol and eventually this season play for Seattle Seahawks. The NFL has released the nominees for the Art Roney Sportsmanship Award. Cam Hayward is representing the Pittsburgh Steelers. An easy win in my book. Thank you for listening to this Friday report from 21st Pittsburgh. You catch us here on YouTube and on Twitter under 21st Pittsburgh. Don't forget to like, subscribe, bell button all. Like, subscribe, bell button all. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.